Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. So what is this skill that has all these hidden benefit arrays? The one skill that I'm talking about is actually woodcutting. Yeah, this really easy to get 99 is actually incredibly useful at raids. So it has three applications. Some are noticeable and some are somewhat hidden and unless you really dig deep into the raids grind, you won't really notice it, but I will tell you them. So the most obvious one is the ability to cut the tree in the scav room as a shortcut. So at 99 woodcutting, you will always be able to cut the tree. So you will never have to guess whether or not you can actually do it or not. So that's one really simple one. The second application is at Ice Demon. So most of you guys already know that you need a woodcut at Ice Demon. That's part of how you do the room. But a while ago, Jagex made it so that the higher your woodcutting, the more kindling you would get per chop. So let's say you're one woodcutting. That means you're only at max able to get one kindling per action. Now, if you're at 99, you can get so much more. You can get like seven and maybe eight. So as you can see in this clip here, I'm going to show you the difference between something like level 10 woodcutting and level 99 woodcutting. It's very noticeable. So that's super nice. At 99, you're at max efficiency for that room. The third and final and most important application of woodcutting is actually at the Mother Dao room, especially if you do solo raids. How fast you cut the meat tree actually depends on how high your woodcutting level is. So it's one of those hidden applications. And uh, when I started reading on this character, it was at around 60 woodcutting. And oh my god, you can notice the difference. You can see how slow I was cutting the tree. And I will demonstrate how fast I can cut the tree at 99 woodcutting. Sometimes you can literally chop the tree a quarter of its health just with one chop. Manoda, I would say, is the most damaging room outside of Ulm. And being able to cut the tree as fast as possible in a solo will help you use much less food at that room. So aside from the crucial farming and herb levels for raids, having 99 woodcutting is really, really helpful because it does impact three rooms. All right. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, Twisted Buckler. Hell yeah. Give me that. Two more races to go to the next upgrade. And there it is. I just hit the 900 KC. So that means we have unlocked, uh, I think it was upgrade number 12, which is the Basilisk Jaw. So what is the next upgrade though? You know, at 975. I was thinking between Armadale Chestplate and the Dragon Pick. Ultimately, I'm going to go with the uh, Armadale Chestplate. So that'll be at 975. But for now, we got to go and get the Jaw. All right, Frame Exile's done. There we go. Okay, that means tomorrow we search for the task, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. Upgrading the Natus Dot. Mm -hmm. Soon. Okay, it is time to do a few things here. I am going to unlock the uh, Basilisk ability to get the task from the high level masters, and also make the task longer. There we go. Wait, how many points did that cost me? Oh, shit, that costs so many points. Okay, well, 400 points. I gotta be really careful with skipping, but this will also get a good opportunity to raise my Slayer level. Because eventually, I need 95 anyway. So, yeah, this will be fine. We'll work out just well. Oh my god, I got the Basilisk task. Holy shit, 200! <laughs> oh my god, dude. The casualty was freaking nuts though, man, on my points, dude. Probably 600 points, and I had to do quite a few tasks. But yeah, I got it, dude. Woo, baby! Yes, I can't wait, dude. I can't wait to do some basilisk. Alright, guys, it is time to finally kill some basilisk knights. So, pretty straightforward setup here. No SGS on this account, so we're just gonna go with a full Dragon Warhammer uh, specs. Really nice. 
you know, rape here for optimal DPS. Pretty much max strength with good defense. Thank you. All right, what do we got here? Ah, uh, blood runes, coins, sapphires. Okay. I just did 94 Slayer, dude. I already gained like 40,000 Slayer XP, dude. I gotta find out what my Slayer XP rate is right now. Damn, it's 25k an hour, dude. Not bad. Yeah, I've been here for 40k's XP worth. Very close, man. One more level and I can uh, pretty much do anything Slayer related. So, that's sick, man. Now we're oh, what? Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. This guy's RNG is absolutely stupid, bro. Holy fuck, dude. Alright, let me look, let me look. What we got here? 200? Oh my lord. Even better than Mr. Iron, bro. How is this guy just better RNG in pretty much every single week? Last time I showed you the defensive stats of the... Short Palm, right? But this time I'll show you the regular stats of the Natus are right? So this is what I've been packing, what I've been using for raids for a while now. Natus not Helmet, 3 Prayer, uh, 3 Strength, uh, about 30 Defense across the board, 3 Magic. So now, we're gonna make the Natus not Face Card, which is, you know, the upgrade. And here's the stats. So Prayer is the same, but Melee Strength doubled. You know, pretty much almost a max hit right there by itself. Uh, as for the defenses, slightly higher, you know, mid-30s, high-30s. Okay, so I just discovered something really nice. So I'm not always going to be overloaded for raids. So before I was hitting a 51 max with the regular nade stop, but I can now hit a 52. So my max is 52 now without overloads, but with overloads, it's still 52. Alright, let me test out my max hit with the bludgeon right now with this current setup here. Not overloaded, so it's 48. Not bad, not bad. What is the max hit with the jaw? Should be a 49. There's a good chance. So let's find out. Nice. New max hit for the bludgeon as well. So that's hecka nice for Tecton. Alright guys, here is our new raid setup with the nate not face guard so we're packing on our melee side you know 148 strength bonus that is really really nice and uh, our defense has got beefed up a little bit oh we just slightly passed 200 range defense i will take it this will give me the jody level i think so yeah 82 the jody nice maybe i can get to a point where i can boost for arty course that'd be sick Legit. Oh, that was dope. You saw that, man? I freaking ran around the lightning, dude, and I chased the lightning. You know, the lightning was chasing me, but I was like, screw that shit. I'm gonna chase the lightning, you know? Oh, man, that was so clutch. Hell yeah. After a lot of meticulous potion making, I'm finally restocked up on everything that I need to do all the PVM, especially the raiding. 1,000 Super Combats, 800 Sarah Brews, and 800 Super Stores, all four doses. Ah, I should be all set for a while, a while. Actually, Stamina's though, my, my Stamina department's on, on the low end, so I'm gonna have to do some, uh, yeah, more, more Stamina making next, I guess. Oh, shit! Yo, this is crazy, 92 Mining? What? Now I can mine Amethyst. Wait... When was I this close? Wow, I haven't actually been mining, you know, in so long. I've just been AFK woodcutting, you know, on this account until 99, but I'm back. Alright, boys, I'm going to confess, I didn't buy my Prospector armor, even though I had so many uh, nuggets. 1,182, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it now, you know. I've made it finally halfway to 99 mining. Yeah, man, might as well AFK to 99 in style. Eventually, the D-Pick too. I want to show you guys something cool that I discovered when I was, uh, yeah, getting more of my fungus. So this is the spot that I use because it's next to the fairy ring, right? So super good. But uh, if you want to speed the, up this process here, always go uh, east. Because no matter what happens, there this log will always get the fungi. This one right here. So yeah, you can actually save yourself, you know, a second or two. 
every rotation by just making sure you go east. Always works. Whoa, 93 Herbaler. Sick. I might want to invest in uh, making anti-venom plus plus. That's all the marks I had to make for stamina. So 115 stamina. Jeez. I gotta go and do some serious agility grinding. Alright, so this is my gear, I guess, for uh, Zora. Yeah, it's not the prettiest looking because it's got some weird shit. Like, what a th oh. But it's all good. Trying to keep the switches, you know, not too crazy. This is the decent amount, yeah. I'm just gonna try to do like two kills before I, I go to my house and recover my HP and stuff. And then, yeah, just do two kills, teleport a house, and then teleport back. I haven't done Zora since forever ago, you know, since the magic thing many, many, many months ago. So, so yeah, this gear should destroy Zora though. Alright, two kills. Oh, wait, I just got a personal best. <laughs> Second try back, dude, easy. On a slow rotation too, that's that's the, the best part. Yeah, I should be able to get like way lower than that, way lower than that. I just need to get a few more kills in my system. Oh, another personal best. <laughs> Damn, this is such a fast kill for rotation one or two. Holy shit. Oh man, I already PB so hard, dude. It's not even funny, man. Oh, I just hit a 41. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's my max. Holy crap, boys. I just hit a 41 with this setup. Hell yeah, 10,000. Wait, what? Oh, really? Damn, that was a waste then. It's not even worth max charging this art light. So I just literally only gained 417 charges on those last three shards. Oh, nice! Hey, I got the Zenite. Let's fucking go. Easy game, boys. Oh, what? Never mind. Wow, one off 900. Damn. So I pretty much reached the KC for three Zenites. Got enough points from AFK and some defense a long time ago. Hell yeah, charges 7,000. Perfect. Ooh, 1,500 KC at the Zora, boys. Oh my god, I just got a Jar of Swamp. <laughs> Plus one, perfect. Yay, that's exactly what I need to build a lair. <laughs> Easy clutch, man. Alright, so I have a Jar of Souls and a Jar of Swamp. So I have two of each. Actually. But yeah, man. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna keep it for Zora, I guess. Yeah, might as well. Not bad. Looks good in the house. I could use some food. Oh, it, never mind. It was a PB. Go for the heal. Oh, that blows, dude. Jesus, what the fuck, dude? Five range hits in a row. Oh man, I'm so glad I tanked a lot of those. Jesus Christ. Yes, we're good. You, I have 50 HP, so yeah. Oh, the magic fang. Oh my god, imagine dying with the magic fang drop. I even did a tank test like an idiot. Oh my god, that's the that's the best way to end the Zora grind, dude. I was about to end it, you know? The, this is the last day of solar grinding for a while. And we got the magic thing at the end. Let's freaking go, dude. <laughs> we are all set. 50,000 skills I'm, and a bonus magic thing to end. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.